Hello everybody, Kelly Atchison at estampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. I hope you guys have all had a wonderful weekend. I, um, what did I do this weekend? Oh, I went and got my nails done. Check that out. What? It's like mint macaron. <laughs> it was supposed to be more like pool party, but um, I think I picked the wrong number. You know how they have all the things, the little samples with numbers on them? So, eh, whatever. It's still pretty cool. And um, I got my striped nail. Now, somebody asked me last, a uh, couple weeks ago, why one of my fingernails is different than all the rest. And it's just a trendy thing that people are doing right now. And I like things that are a little different. And I kind of always make my nail lady do something spectacular with my nails because if I'm going to pay somebody to paint my nails, I want something spectacular. <laughs> so how was your weekend? Did you guys do anything fun? Um, I went with Haley to get my nails done on Saturday and then we went out for lunch and I had the chicken fajitas and I only ate two tortillas because remember I'm on that low carb deal. Mm, yeah. So I was really good and I'm excited because I am down 17 pounds. That's right. It is just going off. So I'm pretty happy about that. It really makes you <laughs> keep going when you're making progress, right? Hi, Elaine. Hi, Pamela. Thanks very much. Pamela says, welcome home. Thank you. I really appreciate that. I know it seems like forever ago when I was gone, but I actually just got home last Tuesday. So I'm like, gosh, was it just last Tuesday? It seems like weeks ago. But anyways, we had a great time in um, Arizona. We did a lot of sightseeing. We went to Sedona. We went and visited Montezuma's Castle, which isn't a castle at all. It was really, it was cool, but there was no castle there. Um, we drove up to Payson to have lunch with my cousin and her mom and her daughter and then we drove all the way around the basin they call it the basin rim the rim I don't know but anyways all the way around the mountains and came back down through the mountains and we saw people um, repelling off the sheer cliff walls oh not for me <laughs> I like roller coasters but I don't like to do things where you could like I mean obviously you could die on a roller coaster but that doesn't happen very often but I repelling down a wall is not my cup of tea. <laughs> Thank you so much, Cindy. So Cindy was telling me she's lost 40 pounds. Holy cow, that's awesome. Thank you very much. I know I'm really excited because um, summer is approaching fast and we have a swimming pool and I hate feeling uncomfortable in my swimsuit. And I would like to see, I know this is going to sound really crazy, but I'd like to see me bikini ready by the time we open our pool. <laughs> and that's not to say that I'll go running around in a bikini because I won't, but at least I can feel comfortable in my own backyard. So yeah, I'm excited about that. So Paula just asked, um, how am I doing on my diet? I'm down 17 pounds. So that's exciting. Um, my total, I would like to get, lose like 30 pounds. Oh, thank you, Trudy. Trudy says my nails are beautiful. I would like to lose a total of 30 pounds, maybe a little more. And um, I know people always say, you don't look like you need to lose that much weight. Well, I am very, very solid. I weigh much more than I look like I weigh, and I always have. Um, so, yeah, I was like a size six and I weighed 140 pounds. So you don't think of somebody in a size six weighing 140, but I do weigh a lot more than I look like I do. So if I can lose 30 pounds, that will put me in really good shape. And um, the funny thing is, is that I haven't done a thing as far as exercise is concerned. Like I have been on my butt nonstop. I have a thousand, can you see that? Oh, let me see if I can get that. A thousand steps in for the whole day and it's 7 p.m. I have been working in my office all day so I'm not getting any exercise at all and i am lost 17 pounds so that's exciting I can't wait to see what will happen when I do start exercising and I do plan on doing that soon so um, when it starts warming up it was only 20 degrees yesterday I think it might be a little nicer out today but 
Yeah. Hi, Nikki. Nikki is my, well, she calls me Aunt Kelly, but I'm really her cousin, but she's a lot younger than me. My mom, I'm going to just get my um, laptop set up here so I've got you guys on my screen. But my mom was the oldest of eight kids, and her dad is, hmm, I think he's number three or four. So there's quite a bit of difference between our ages. Okay, Facebook Live, here I go. So I'm glad you're watching. Oh, Charlene says she's lost 45 pounds on the plan. That is awesome, too. Congratulations. I know how hard that is. Um, and I do have to say, this plan has made it really, really easy. So Suzette is asking, what is the diet you're doing? I am doing the Optavia plan. It's O-P-T-A-V-I-A, -I, I think. And it's cool because it comes with food. So I eat all their food except one meal a day is a lean and green meal, like vegetables and a chicken breast or something like that. Um, and that's what works really good for my life because I don't like to take a lot of time to, well, I hate cooking. You guys know that. Steve always cooks for me and he's been making some great stuff too, by the way. But I don't like to take a lot of time to cook. And so I'll just grab something because I am hungry. And now I've got this big box of all these things I can grab. There's, um, I make brownie muffins with their, with their mix. Um, blueberry muffins, cinnamon swirl muffins. Oh my gosh, they're so good. Oh, Marcia says it's 84 and sunny in the Keys in Florida today. Good for you. Um, so this, this, this weight loss program has been really good for me because it's easy. Like I just eat their things and then have one decent meal a day. Um, and I'm, I'm not hungry a lot, you know, so that's good. The big thing was I had to quit drinking the Pepsi. I still haven't had a Pepsi since I told you guys that I quit. Um, so that's good. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Sherry has over 10,000 steps for the day. Good for you. <laughs> Yeah, I got a thousand. I've been on my butt all day. I walked up the stairs to take a shower and came back down here. <laughs> That's it. So anyhow, um, I'm going to get started because I was gone for a week. Um, I think you guys really enjoyed the um, card challenge, right? There were so many people that participated. I was so excited to see your enthusiasm. And I've had a lot of people ask me if I'm going to do it again. And absolutely, I will do it again. That is so fun. Um, so I've got a lot of cards to show you guys. So I'm going to clip through those pretty quickly. Um, this card comes to me from Karen Karst. Karen, this is a fun fold. And how fun is that? This uses the uh, new Varied Vases stamp set in the Occasions mini catalog. So that is beautiful. You know I love fun folds. And then, oh, I've got some notes here. Oh my gosh, I have to show you this. Um, this is an envelope. Look at that. She made an envelope out of, gosh, it almost feels like a magazine or poster paper. But this is from Patricia Mater. Patricia made this beautiful card. Um, this image under, uh, this, the rectangular image is actually like she embossed, um, with embossing powder and Versa Marks. So this was really, really pretty. Let me see if I can. Yeah, so thank you, Pat. I love that card. Then I got this beauty from Lori Schwint. And um, this uses our Share What You Love designer series paper and those new rectangle framelits. I hope you guys can see that because they're very cool. Oh, Cindy said that was her first challenge. Awesome. I'm so glad that so many people did it. Um, because that's really cool. Okay, Lori Krause. Lori Krause is my very, very good friend. And um, she lives in Michigan. And we've been chatting about Stampin' Up. And I've been helping her do some online things. And she's just kind of dipping her foot into the online world. And um, she sent me a card saying congratulations on your accomplishments. And thank you for all your help. So check this out. This is using that Botanical Butterfly Designer Series paper. Are you ready for this? What? Look at that. Oh my gosh, so cool. Maybe I'll show you guys how to make this card. You know what? I think maybe what I'll do is I'll do this on my VIP group. 
Um, I just featured some of the cards. We made some cards this week using the Home to Roost stamp set, which is a free celebration set on my VIP group. Now, people will say, well, how do I get into your VIP group? If you are um, outside the U.S., you can't get into it, and I'm sorry. Um, but I do have lots of content that I give you otherwise. My VIP group is for people who place orders with me in my online store. So if you buy Stampin' Up! product from me, I will add you to my VIP group, and then you'll be able to see all these cool videos that I do that are exclusive to my VIP people. So maybe I'll set that one aside. Maybe I'll do that. I'll feature that. Okay. Um, whoops. Hang on. I'm moving things around here. Then, um, Jay, gosh, Jay, I knew how to say her. So I, Sante, I don't know. I, I had her last name, but then I forgot again. <laughs> this is a beauty from her. Isn't that pretty? I love the gingham ribbon. That's really cool. And this was, oh, I had a big giveaway on my team, and she won one of the kits. So she's sending me a thank you card for that. Thank you so much, Jay. And then we've got one here from Sharon Jones. And... She is just so sweet. She just wrote me a really nice message. It's not my birthday, so hang tight. My birthday is July 7th, but she says this is an early or late birthday card. She didn't know when my birthday was, so how sweet was that? Thank you, Sharon. That is just the sweetest. And then we have a card from Trudy Hudson. Um, she won some chicken wire elements, and look at how pretty that is. That uses that country floral embossing folder. Mmm. Love it. So that's pretty. And I think you should feature it here so us hobby demonstrators can do it. Are you talking about the butterfly card, Cindy? If Oh, Vicky's birthday is the 7th too. Yay, Vicky! That's awesome we share the same birthday. So if you're talking about the VIP video I said I'd do on this card, um, if you're on my team, you should be in that VIP group also. So... If you're not, um, send me an email and we'll get you in there because everybody on my team gets to be in my VIP group. Then we have this card, and this is from Joyce Lieb or Liebe. Let me see if I can hold it up there without shaking. Isn't this adorable? And um, Joyce is just thanking me for sharing my creative talent. That's so sweet. Like, that's just so sweet. And then I have a card here. Uh, this one is from uh, Suzette. You guys, are you ready for this? Aww. So Suzette made this card using the Wonderful Romance Bundle. And I'm really sorry to say that the framelits are no longer available. We have sold out. And Susan said she loved both the Home to Roost cards and she's made them already. Good for you because they are super cool, right? They really caught my eye. And last but not least, I have a card here from... Uh, Lynn Seclary. Lynn is one of the newest members of my discount shopper team and she made me one of her paper pumpkin cards and look at how cool this is. This is an alternate idea and she is thanking me for everything I do. So I have some great team members. Everybody is always so very gracious. So Let's talk a little bit about that. Hi, Donna Warner. Um, we only have two weeks left of celebration. And celebration is a fabulous time, not only where we get free products for, for orders qualifying at $150, $50 and $100, but you can also become a discount shopper or a business builder with Stampin' Up! on my team for only $99. And um, you get to choose $175 worth of product for $99 plus whatever your local tax is. But it's so much more than just getting $75 worth of free product. You get to become part of something so much bigger. And that something is my team. Um, we have so much fun. I have a special Facebook page that's private just for my team. We're sharing things on there every single day. I am available to you to answer questions. You get Kelly time. Like if you need to talk to me, you can. Um, that type of thing. 
and we just have a lot of fun on there. Most of my team members are discount shoppers and I love all of them. So you don't get treated any different if you're gonna build a business or if you're going to be a discount shopper. Everybody's equal. But it's a fabulous way to be part of something so much bigger. Steve, thanks. My husband just said, so pretty. <laughs> you're so sweet. Okay, so today, we had a big long discussion about my truck, right? Because I told you guys I smashed my truck up last summer. I didn't get it fixed. It's not worth it. And now my heater doesn't really work very good. Like when it was really cold, we just parked my truck because it's freezing and I, I don't have much heat. I can't say it doesn't work all together. It just doesn't get very warm. So um, Debbie says there's nothing like Kelly time. That's right, Debbie. But anyway, so Steve cleaned out my truck. He brought in two boxes of stuff, like stuff. And he said, this is why we can't share a vehicle because you're a car slob. <laughs> and and I, I like my stuff in my truck. <laughs> so anyways, we had a big long discussion today and he goes, so what do you want to do with this thing? Do you want to get it fixed? Should, should we take it and see what it's going to cost to get the heater fixed? Because like I said, my truck's not worth much and... I don't know. I don't. I just don't want to buy a new one. I was looking at them, and the lowest price on the, what I wanted was twenty five grand, and that just seems so ridiculous. So, anyways, we decided that we're gonna get the heater fixed, and we'll see. You know, if it's not too outrageous, and then I'll be happy, and I'll have my own vehicle again. But um, yeah, so I've been driving Steve Subaru, which is really nice and has heated seats. And the next vehicle I buy will have heated seats also. Okay. So we have some winners from last week. Um, I told you there's only two weeks left of celebration. And celebration is with your every $50 you spend, you earn a free product of your choice out of the brochures. Um, there are three different offerings. The first brochure, the second brochure, and then there's an offering of a whole bunch of other stuff. My crown is crooked. How's that? Thanks. <laughs> Thank Darlis. Thank you, Darlis. She said your crown is crooked. Um, so um, don't forget to get supplies while they last. Tonight we're going to be using the botanical butterfly paper. Um, I know you're going to be you're going to love what I've made with it because I was like, oh, this is so pretty. I can't wait to show you. Um, oh, and when you order the uh, la, 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 let me see here. The painted, oops, there goes things. Things are falling. When you order the painted seasons bundle, so this is the stamp set and the designer series paper. When you order, you can only get the stamp set with the paper for your $100, but you can also, for $50, get the free paper. And I'll be showing that to you in a minute. When you order that from me, you will get 15 card tutorials just because you ordered it. So if you guys have ordered that from me and you did not get those tutorials yet, pop me an email. Don't leave a message here because I get a thousand comments under this and I might miss it. Um, but pop me an email at kelly at a stamp above.com and I will get that out in, in an email to you. 15 different card tutorials when you order the painted seasons from me. And everybody who places an order with me gets a 12 card tutorial and it's just um, um, whatever cards I choose to make tutorials about. So, oh, thanks, Steve Atchison. He said, happy St. Patrick's, Kelly Flynn Atchison. Doesn't get more St. Patrick's-y than Kelly Flynn, right? <laughs> Um, so Joanne, if you don't want any more celebration items, there's a third offering that has products out of the catalog. There's ribbon, you can get pizza boxes, there's all kinds of things that also, um, qualify. Somebody said you can't wear a crooked crown. <laughs> oh, believe me. Is it okay now? Yeah, we want to be, we want to be good. <laughs> okay. Um, I have a challenge for you guys tonight. So. Sharing is caring, and I want you to share my video. Share it, whether you're watching it here live on Facebook. If you watch it later after the live is over, you can still click that share button. And if you're watching later on YouTube, click that share button. If I get 100 shares, over 100 shares on this video tonight, I have a three-month subscription, a three-month prepaid subscription to Paper Pumpkin Kit that I will be giving away next week. What? Yeah. 
You'll love it. Somebody's gonna win it if I get over 100 shares. Now, when I say to share my video, please don't share it to any of my groups. Like, don't share it to the page that you're on right now. That's my group, and I have a schedule that I follow. And I will be posting pictures and a replay of this video on Tuesday. So please don't share it to my page. Also, if you're in my VIP group, you can't share it to that group either because again, that's my group. I will share it on Tuesday with my schedule. You need to share it to your own page. That's where it will work best. So share, share, share. If we get over 100 shares, somebody's gonna be the lucky winner of a three month prepaid paper pumpkin subscription. Steve, share the video. <laughs> my husband won't share my video, and that's kind of a little thing we have going back and forth here. Okay, next. Um, I know that a lot of you have ordered or qualified for my free, I shouldn't say free, for my Geared Up Garage online class. Now, if you're one of my team members, this is a $20 class. If you're on my team as a business builder or a discount shopper, you get all my $20 classes or less for free. So I have an online class that has nine gorgeous cards in it using the Geared Up Garage man set. And um, everybody on my team gets that for free. You just have to pop me an email and say, I would like the Geared Up Garage and you can get it for free. If you buy the bundle from me, there's a bundle of products, the stamp set, the framelits, the ribbon, the metal elements, the designer series paper. I think that's it. It's on my blog. Um, in the right-hand column, you'll find online classes. Click on that and you'll read all about this Geared Up Garage. If you order that bundle of product with the ribbon and the elements and the paper from me, you get the class for free also. Now, if you're a demonstrator and you don't want to place an order with me, that's fine. The class can be yours for $20. And again, on my blog, right-hand side, online classes, there's a buy now button where you can buy that class. I do try to send those classes out as soon as I can. Um, a lot of times I can see the orders come in on my phone and I can send it right away. So um, I do try to be right on top of that. Uh, what else? If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, please contact me. I can send you our current catalogs. It's always much more fun to have a catalog in your hand um, than shopping online. Oh, thank you, Jackie says the cards in the class are fantastic. Thank you so much, Jackie. I love making online classes. Kathy says, oh my gosh, that class is amazing. I just ordered it and my thing isn't scrolling again. And I got one card made. The videos are amazing. Thank you so much. That really means a lot to me. I really appreciate that you said that, Kathy. And thanks, Jamie. Welcome back. Yeah, it's good to be home. <laughs> Um, oh, one thing, you guys. So, a while ago, like a couple years ago, Stampin' Up! used to have this uh, thing you could select when you created your online account to place orders. You could select no contact. And um, what that means when you select no contact, I don't think you can do it anymore, but if you did it, is that when you place an order, it comes into my email inbox and normally it says, um, Donna Schultz just placed an order with you so that I know who placed the order. I will send you a, um, a card, a thank you card. Plus you get entered into my drawing when you use my monthly host code, um, to win a free stamp set. Okay. So I do that once a month. If you chose no contact, it comes into my um, inbox and it won't tell me who you are. I have no idea who placed an order. So if you just placed an order with me on 314, which was Thursday, that totaled with tax and shipping $77.69, please contact me so I can tell you how to get rid of that no contact. So your future orders, I will know who you are. Um, because nothing gripes me more than not being able to say thank you to you and send you a card. Hi, Candy Wilkie. It's been a long time. Um, the other no contact order I got was on Friday, 315, total with tax and shipping. And I say this so that maybe you'll go, oh, that was my order, was $180.08. So I'd really like to thank you for these orders. Please get in touch with me and let me know if that's you. Or if you don't get a thank you card from me and you've placed an order, I want you to think about that and go, hmm, why didn't I get a thank you card? Maybe that's me, okay? 
So, winners, here we go. Um, first of all, for the card challenge. This was our card challenge from last week on my Facebook Live, not live, because I was gone. Okay, you can make a card like that, you can make a card like that, you can make a card like that. And here's a couple samples. We've got this one, and then this one. Okay, so, the winner for the card challenge, and again, this was a random drawing for everybody who posted their cards on under the video. The winner is, uh, la, 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 let me find it, Lynn Hall of Wayland, Michigan. Lynn, I don't know if you're watching tonight, but you are going to win this Beauty Abounds stamp set. Congratulations, and you guys, thank you so much for everybody that entered the challenge. It was so much fun, and I will definitely be doing another one, so watch for that. Okay, more winners. Um, for placing comments, Paula Bringman of Williamsburg, Iowa. Let me find your prize here. Da, 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 Stephanie, Lynette, hang on. Lynette. Okay, I'm confused. Did I? Oh, here it is. I'm like, I can't find your prize. I am going to send you some of our spritzers. You get two in a pack. These are fabulous, and um, Paula is in my VIP group. I probably will be doing a card soon using a watercolor wash background, and so you'll see um, some fun things to do with these spritzers. But that's for Paula Bringman. And then for sharing the video, I've got Stephanie Gibson of Pasco, Washington. Stephanie, I've got the Happiness Blooms Memories and More card kit here for you. Um, it's Memories and More card pack. These are really, really fun. You can use them for scrapbooking or you can use them for um, to make cards with. They match the Happiness Blooms. And then our next winner for placing an order is Kay Allen of Turlock, California. Kay, I've got the Life is Grand stamp set here. This is like the most beautiful greeting set ever. You're gonna love it. And... Then I also went out on YouTube for the shares there and did a drawing. And I've got some of the heart epoxy droplets here. And the winner for that is Lynette Husted or Husted, H U S T E D. Lynette, I do not have your address. You have two weeks to claim your prize. So if this is you, please get in touch with me. My email address, Kelly at a stamp above.com and I will mail you your prize. All right, whoops, hang on, I just pulled Paula's name off of her prize. We don't want any problems there. Let me set some of this stuff over here, and I've got Lynn's stamp set also, and I'm gonna put this back where it belongs. Uh, okay, I had one person ask me on my um, business page, I think it was Suzette Lewis, this Sitting Pretty stamp set. It's actually a bundle. She asked me if I could do something with that in the near future. I don't have that bundle, Suzette, so I can't. Um, but I can see if somebody near me does, and then maybe I'll be able to borrow it. That's another nice thing. If you live local and you're one of, on my team, my team members, I don't do this for my customers because that would get to, that would open up a Pandora's box. I hope you guys understand. But if you're on my team, I do allow people to borrow stuff from me for short periods of time. I'm pretty strict about that, but short periods. <laughs> um, oh yeah, and somebody asked, who is my weight loss coach? I have a coach with this Optavia program and her name is Bev. And if you guys would, anybody wants to get in touch with her to get more information about that, let me know. Um, I can hook you up with her. I have a, a, a Zoom conference call with her every Monday morning, and she is amazing. So that's cool. All right, let me put this away. I think we're ready to stamp. What do you think? I think we've talked long enough. We're going to get some stamping done. And I have some really cute things to share with you today. So let me get, oh, one more thing, just one more. When you join Stampin' Up, this is our Stamping Success Magazine. It comes quarterly and it has gorgeous ideas in it. And people often ask me, 
Where do you get your ideas from? Well, this is one of the places. We have this full color magazine that has all kinds of tips and ideas. Look at that. Yeah, with the best catch stamp set bundle. All kinds of great ideas in the Stampin' Success magazine. And that's also something that you get whether you are, um, Suzette, please email me about the um, weight loss program because there's going to be like a thousand messages that come through here and I'm going to miss that. Lasagna would be good. I know I love lasagna. <laughs> Anyways, you get the Stampin' Success magazine every quarter when you're a discount shopper or a business builder with Stampin' Up! And I love this magazine. I get a lot of great ideas out of it. Okay, we're going to flip the phone around. What are you guys drinking tonight? Uh, Jenny, you better stay awake. <laughs> I'm drinking my little drink. Um, it's a little powder mix that I get with my Optavia program that makes my water taste less hateful. <laughs> because you know drinking water sucks the joy out of my life. <laughs> okay, we're flipping you around. If um, I wish the regular public could get that magazine. Nope, it's just for just for demonstrators. I'm sorry, but... That's one of the benefits. So, okay. I'm drinking a grasshopper, Sue. Good for you. Here we go. If you get uh, motion sickness, close your eyes for a little bit. We're going to flip things around here. Here we go. I'm going to get you set up. And I've got to undo my mirroring. So just hang tight. I'm not ready for you to look yet. Mm, where's my mirroring? Mm, right here. Oops. Oops. Um, right here. Is that right? That looks right. I think it's right. Okay. All right, here we go. So, what should I make for you first? I think we're going to do our little 3D thing first. Okay. Um, I'm not going to need that, but I'm going to get all these fun little things out here. Here we go. All these cutie patootie things coming your way. I see that Lynn just asked where in the world is Bev Shepke. Bev is my coach and um, Bev is down by Milwaukee actually unless she's on a vacation someplace but that's where I think she is. Okay so I told you that I'd show you this. This is the um, Painted Seasons. Yeah, I just want to make sure I had the right name. This is the Painted Seasons Designer Series paper, and I've shown this to you guys several times. It's absolutely gorgeous. And you can get this paper with your $50 order, or if you have a $100 order, you can get the stamp set and the paper together, and it's beautiful. We also have a set of framelits that match these. They're $27 or $28. And so you could have all three and really have yourself a great suite of products to play with. So that's just something to keep in mind. All right, I am going to bring in, I've got a six by six piece of the Painted Seasons Designer Series paper. And this is just a fun little 3D item that I'm gonna share with you. It is quick and easy. We're going to score this. I want to make sure I'm in my screen here. Sometimes I get too low. We're going to score this at two inches on all four sides. And if you've been with Stampin' Up! for a long time, you've probably made one of these because these are the sweetest little project. They've been around forever. I'm going to grab my paper snips here. And it's a lot easier for me to see these score lines on this side than it is this side. So turn it over if you have a hard time seeing your score lines so you can see which side is going to be easier for you to find them at. We're going to cut up to that two inch score line there. Then we're going to turn it around and do the same thing here. I'm just going to fold this a little bit so I can see it better. I hope that's the right line. That's close. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Now we're going to fold on those score lines and burnish good. Who said, Marshall, Pepsi for me? No, I'm not drinking Pepsi. I'm drinking water. Yeah. 
Pepsi is gone from my life if I want to lose weight, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> no Pepsi for Kelly. Pepsi is the nectar of the gods as far as I'm concerned. Mm, love me some Pepsi. Okay, then I've got tear and tape here. And we are going to pull in this tab and we're going to put some tear and tape on it. Just like that. And then we're going to pull in this tab and put some tear and tape on that. Okay. And then I've got my little pokey tool here. But see, how, look at how my rings are spinning on my fingers because, yeah, my fingers are getting skinny. <laughs> Yay me! Now, what I want you to do is pull these. I'm just going to push this down so you can see what I'm doing. These two outside flaps, you're going to put them together until these two top points right here meet, just like that. So I'm going to hold that and then push that panel, that tab, into them. So that's going to hold that side together like this. Okay? We're going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to get these out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. Watch me stab myself. Oh, Steve so came in here a little while ago. He was bleeding. Something stabbed him on my truck. And of course he said it was all my fault. <laughs> he was kidding. Okay, and again, we're going to put these together so that the two points, these two points right here, meet in the middle and push that down. Look at this cute little box. Well, basket. It's a cute little basket. Now, I've got a piece of seven inch flax ribbon here. Hang on, this is the end of my roll. Seven inches of our white flax ribbon. This is the perfect little ribbon to do this with. Now you could use a glue dot or any other type of secure fastener here. I just happen to have the stapler. Um, any stapler will, will work. This was a Stampin' Up! stapler. We used to carry these, but we don't anymore. And I'm just going to put this ribbon. The nice thing about this ribbon is it's kind of stiff. So it holds up. Oh, look, that's crooked. No, I don't like that. Hang on, I'm, I'm pretty anal about these things. I didn't get that. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Need those points to meet. I think I'm going to, ouch, throw just a little bit of glue in this one because it's kind of hanging out there. There we go. Okay. Here comes the other side. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing here because kind of tricky. There we go. I mean, there's nothing tricky about stapling this just for you to be able to see it. Then we are going to, oh, I got to get some dimensionals out. I'm going through a lot of dimensionals lately. Um, hang on a second. I got to scroll up and see my messages here. Da -da -da -da. And we're going to punch out two daisies. And sometimes these little pieces will get hung up because all these little petals are so intricate. Just yank them out of there. See, that one petal doesn't want to let go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, there we go. Do that. Every life will be good. And then I've got a half inch circle punch here. And some of our lemon lime twist cardstock. So I'm going to take a mini dimensional and put it in this, well, kind of try to get it in the center of my little dot here. There we go. And I'm just going to put some glue on my daisy. Now the funny thing is, is remember that um, training event that I went to in Michigan? Well, we got to make these there. Well, oh no, we didn't make these there. This was part of my team training. Isn't that cute? Look at that little daisy. Now I'm going to put, I'll hold it up for you again. I didn't do that very well, did I? You're like, you said look at it, but then you just took it right away. Isn't that the sweetest thing ever? You're going to put a daisy right here on our pass 
basket and I just love it. It's so sweet. Here comes another one. See, that one didn't give me a, any trouble. I wasn't quite as aggressive with it. <laughs> Don't be so aggressive, Kelly. I always try to get things done really quick for you because I know that you're like, oh my gosh, she's taking forever. That's what I feel like. It's like, oh, she's taking forever. And I want to move things along quickly for you so you don't fall asleep. Um, who said that before they were going to fall asleep? Jenny. Or I don't lose your interest. Okay, there we go. And another dimensional here. Dimensional right there. And we're going to put this one. And I like to decorate both sides of my basket because they're stinking adorable. And here we go. Here comes our other daisy. Is that not the easiest little thing ever? Paper is six by six, scored at two inches on each side. I mean, it doesn't get much easier than that, you guys. Now, you could put some little candies in here. You could put some tissue paper or some shred and put whatever you want in here. You could make this out of our geared up garage or classic garage man paper. And you could put some peanuts in here for the men in your life. I mean, this can be used for anything. It's not exclusive for Easter, but it sure makes a cute little Easter basket. What about May Day? May Day's coming up pretty soon. You could do little May Day baskets for your coworkers or, you know, whoever. Everybody appreciates the thought and a little something something. Um, here's another one made with the other design of the paper. And I use Poppy Parade and Early Espresso to match the flowers in here. Isn't that cute? And then here's one with our gingham paper. This was the original idea that was shared with me recently. Now, if you need a bigger basket, all you do is cut your paper bigger, okay? This is six by six, but you could cut it seven by seven. Um, and still, I, I, well, I don't know how you would, you'll have to figure out, I do it on a scrap first, figure out the score lines. If two by two by two would work on all four sides, I don't know, I haven't done that yet. But there we go, cutie patootie little baskets. Um, I wasn't sure about this one, if I wanted a poppy parade or a petal pink daisy. And I really think the poppy parade looks better. Do you, which one do you guys like better? Petal pink, poppy parade. Petal pink, poppy parade. <laughs> I tried it with a white one, it didn't look good with the white. So that's why I went with the poppy parade, okay. I have a few cards to show you using the same paper. This is the Painted um, Seasons stamp set and paper. Here, remember this card? I This is the thank you cards that I just sent out to most people for their orders in February. Um, and this is the stamp set. This is that country floral free embossing folder free stamp set and then this is the um, life is grand that I just gave away today here is another fun fold card isn't that pretty yeah uses the same paper and the painted season stamp set with the matching framelits remember this one oh this is one of my I believe this is one of my Facebook lives Super easy to make these. You can find that by going to the video tab on my Facebook page and just look for this card in the picture. And then, let's see what else I have here. Um, here was some of our note cards. This is note cards and envelopes, but this is part of that Painted Season stamp set. Same stamp set. And then, if you guys are part of my VIP... Facebook group, I made a whole bunch of these. This was shared with me by someone. Somebody sent me a card using this layout. So I just made up a ton of these and it's all using the Painted Seasons. So this was one of the exclusive videos that I shared on my VIP Facebook group. This is that layout for the card challenge. Where did that go? Um, right here. Same layout with the Painted Seasons Designer Series paper. I'll put that over here. Okay, on to our next project. I have some really cool stuff to show you. This was very cool, right? <laughs> oh yeah, 
Tara's going to make these for her card club customers. Good for you. I noticed that my computer isn't scrolling like it should. So if you guys have a question and um, I miss it, be aggressive about it. Say, Kelly, here's my question. Please answer or something. Um, somebody just said they're going to order through me. You order through me, I'll send you a card. Not kidding about that. <laughs> I really do. Okay, I'm going to put these over to the side now. Where did my basket go? Right there. Heather, um, Heather um, Kohler, I don't know if you're watching tonight, but you asked me. Oh, this isn't the right stamp set. Oh, Heather, if you're watching tonight, I told you the wrong stamp set. So Heather asked me which stamp set has the um, adulting, because adulting is hard. It's this more than word stamp set. Sorry about that, Heather. I need to remember to um, message her and tell her that it's not the one I thought it was. Oh, this is glaring at you too, I'm sorry. But anyways, um, we're gonna be using the part of my story. And then I'm gonna get my ink pads out here. Ooh, look how colorful, yeah. Oh, by the way, you guys, if you'd like to place an order with me, I always appreciate your orders. You can go right to my blog in the right-hand column. There's an online ordering button, click that. This is my new code to be used if your order is under $150. You want to use that code. And let's bring out all my goodies here. Okay. So, told you we'd be using the free Botanical Butterfly Designer Series paper. This is free with your $50 order. You get two of each one of these sheets. And every side on each sheet has a black and white pattern. And then the other side is colored with beautiful images. And here we go. I have got a card base of Rich Razzleberry that is four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. And as soon as this Facebook, um, oh, yes, Heather, good, I'm glad you saw that. I'm so sorry, I told you the wrong stamp set. Heather said, thanks about the adulting is hard. You bet. Um, I always put the dimensions for all of the projects that I make in the description of the video, as soon as I'm done, I, I share it to my Facebook page, which is the page that you're on, and I put all the dimensions above the video. So if you go look at any of my videos, you'll see Facebook Live, the date, and then there'll be some words and it'll say see more above the video. When you click on that see more, all this information pops in for you. So I've got the layered leaves embossing folder here. We're using the stitch shapes framelits and the layering oval framelits. And there's all my little elements. I've got Whisper White. So I've got a bigger piece and a smaller piece. The bigger piece is four by five and a quarter. The smaller piece is three and a half by four and three quarters. And then I have a scrap of Whisper White and a scrap of Basic Black. And a piece of the Designer Series paper that is the diagonal black and white stripes with the petal pink and then the butterflies. This piece is four by five and a quarter and this piece is three quarters by five and a quarter. Then we're gonna grab a scrap of this paper. On the back side of this paper are these cute little white butterflies. Okay, first thing we're gonna do here is we are going to, let me get out my bits and pieces here. Here is our Whisper White scrap. So I'm gonna do a little bit of stamping on here with my Memento ink pad. And I'm gonna stamp, here's to those who, who inspire us and don't even know it. This can be a greeting on a card you can send so many different people. I love this greeting. I'm using the oval from the Stitch Shapes oval to die cut this. And then I'm using the matching scallop that's just a little bit bigger than this from the layering ovals. So layering oval stitch shapes must have in my book. If you guys don't have this or something similar to it, I use these. You see me use these almost every time I make a card. I love them. Okay. And I want a black scalloped oval. Hang on a second. And of course... 
through the magic of TV, I have already die cut that, so you don't have to sit around and wait for me to do that. I'm gonna pull in the smaller Whisper White piece. Remember, this is the one that was three and a half by four and three quarters. And I'm again, I'm using, where did my stamp set go? The part of my story, I use the here's to those who inspire us and don't even know it. And then I'm gonna use the more, the world needs more people like you. And that part of my story, did I say that? It's free with your $50 orders. So that is a free celebration stamp set. This is gonna go here. Let's close this up. We're gonna get a little bit of these elements put together and then I'm gonna show you the magnificent part about oh, this card. Darn it, hang on. Let me grab a tissue. I don't want my card sticking to this. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> First boo-boo of the night. Don't worry, don't worry, there'll be more. I will not disappoint you in that arena. <laughs> okay, and then we're going to throw some dimensionals on the back of this. Maybe. There we go. And once again, my screen is not scrolling, so if you guys ask me any questions, I apologize. Um, ask again. I'll see it. All right, here goes our card base. Got my bone folder here. How many of you always use a bone folder? I love my bone folder. I use it all the time. Now this piece, which has the butterflies on the back, we are actually gonna use this on the inside. And I think you're gonna find this pretty spectacular. You know that I love to decorate the insides of my cards. I really firmly believe that the party should not end when somebody opens a card. There should be something pretty on the inside. We have the power to do that. Don't be a lazy stamper. No, I'm not gonna say that. I don't always stamp the insides of my cards. It just depends on what I'm doing, but I do love to do the insides. So here is our inside, and isn't that just look spectacular? I know. And then, let me get my framelits set to the side so I don't lose them. Um, next thing I'm going to do, oh, this other Whisper White piece is for the front, and you're going to run that through the layered leaves embossing folder, okay? And when you're done with that, it's going to look like this. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely gorgeous. I, know, I don't wait for you guys to answer when I ask questions like that because I know you're going to say yes. I'm like, my ESPN has kicked into full gear here. Isn't that funny? I've been saying that forever. Instead of ESP, like mind reader, I always say ESPN. I don't know why, it's one of those goofy things. One of those goofy things that I say. Okay, so you're gonna glue that little three quarter inch strip of designer paper on the side here. And we are ready to put this together. This goes right on the front. So I saw somebody was talking about on stage swaps. Um, that's a discussion for a business page. So yeah, so if you're going to on stage, you don't want to be using things that will be um, retired by then. So all celebration items should not be used on swap cards. And again, Paula, that's the discussion for a Stampin' Up! Demonstrator business page, not here. Because there's a lot of people that will go, what is she talking about? Yeah, because that's demo talk. Demo chit chat for a demonstrator page, not here. Um, but you're correct. You shouldn't be using anything that's going to be retired in April. Okay, so pretty so far, right? But you're going Kelly. Like, that's cool, but it's not that spectacular. Oh, wait for this. Let's get out some color. We're going to take Daffodil Delight, Rich Razzleberry, and Bermuda Bay. Three of my favorite colors to put together. I absolutely love putting these together. And I'm gonna bring in my daubers. And I'm gonna take my dauber and I need, I want a yellow butterfly. I would like a Bermuda Bay butterfly. 
and I want a rich raspberry butterfly. And as a matter of fact, I want two of each of these. Well, actually, I need three or three rich raspberries and two of the other ones. Now, this punch has been on back order for a long time, and um, I believe it is going to be back in our warehouse on April 1st. This is the butterfly duet punch. And let me get the ink off my hands because I must have had ink on my punch. Baby wipes will wipe that right off. Um, hang on, because I really got a lot of ink on my finger. Anyways, this punch won't be in stock until April 1st. You can order it in April. However, this paper is going to be gone March 31st. So this is celebration paper, and that ends March 31st. So I thought, I better be showing you this paper, and then I wanted to show you how cool it was that the paper matches the punch. So you can cut out these little butterflies with that butterfly punch. And how easy was it to use a sponge dauber to color these like that, right? So let's get this one. Do our Bermuda Bay. Just like that. Where did he go? He's in here. I had butterflies flying all over the place last night. <laughs> here comes another one. Should I get this lined up right? Okay, here's our three little butterflies. And I've got more of them done already, just so you don't have to sit here and wait for me forever, right? Here is two of each, and then I needed one extra, oh, do I have it? I think I wanted one extra Bermuda Bay, or Rich Razzleberry, so let's do one more of those. And we'll do this one right here. One more. I need three of that one. Do you know what for? Mm -hmm. uh, where did that butterfly just go? Oh, here it is. I'm like, where did it just go? Okay, now, we're gonna turn all of these over except one rich razzleberry. We'll leave that for now. And I need to find some of my little baby mini dimensionals. We're gonna put those on our butterflies, except one rich razzleberry. We're not gonna put anything on there. Kathy, get out those sponge daubers. Kathy says she has sponge daubers, but she hasn't used them yet. They're very fun. Another thing I like to do with daubers, you guys, is ink them up and you can make perfect little polka dots on a background and that's really fun. Especially I like to use that technique for baby cards because maybe I don't have any pattern baby paper. You could do all pink polka dots or you could do, you know, pastels or all blue or all green or whatever, but they're super, super cute. And here we go. This is a yellow one. Now I'm gonna start putting my little butterflies all over the front of my card. Just like this. I need a rich razzleberry. This must be one of them. And we've got another yellow one. This one right up here. And I need one more rich razzleberry to go. I'll put that right in there. I want them to be really random. What do you guys think? Isn't this just the cutest little card ever? I love this. Now, what about this other butterfly? You guys that know me well know exactly what I'm gonna do with that, right? It's gonna go on the inside of my card, right there. Isn't that pretty? I love these colors together. Now the black and white stripes is what really made this card sparkle for me. Like I'm like, oh, I love the black and white striped paper. Just love it. Okay, let me get this mess cleaned up here. And I will 
get our next project out. We're clipping along pretty good here. Let's see if I can get all the trash in the trash can <laughs> instead of all over my floor, which is typically what happens. All right, I'm gonna set that right up there. Part of my story. Put this in here, this in here. kind of exciting that we're almost into April, right? And I know maybe for you guys that live in the southern part of the country, it's not that big of a deal. But for those of us in the frozen tundra, it's a it's a pretty big deal that spring is coming. And while I do have to say I don't like spring, spring is a very dirty time of year in Wisconsin. It's muddy, it's icky, it's just ugh. But I love summer, and spring means summer's coming, right? Yeah, love that. Okay, whoops, I see that my scrolling is not working again. Thank you, Betty Meyer. Betty says she loves that I decorate the inside of my cards. I love that too. I, I have to say, like, again, the party shouldn't end when you open a card. Like, you don't finish the front and go, ugh. <laughs> It's like, no, no, no. Oh, Cindy says she has she has to do her taxes. Yeah, me too, Cindy. And that's always very scary for me. So I'll tell you a little story. Um, two years ago, I was backing out of the driveway, probably in the week of April 15th, because that's when I'm a procrastinator, and that's when I wait um, to get my taxes done. So April 15th, the week of that week, I was backing out of the driveway and I got a phone call and I stopped my vehicle and I'm like, oh, who's calling me? I didn't recognize the number. And it was my doctor and she she was giving me the news that I had breast cancer. Yay! And I was backing out of my driveway on my way to my tax appointment. I got to, the, to my accountant's office and hang on, I got to get a drink. I had him ring up my taxes because he does it while I'm right there. It only takes about 20 minutes for him to put all my numbers in. He gave me the fabulous news that I owed $10,000 in taxes. I was like, this has got to be the worst day of my life. It wasn't, but it was pretty close. So anyways, yeah, taxes are hateful. I hate them. <laughs> They are a necessary evil, though, because we all enjoy all the benefits that our taxes bring, right? Yeah, I know I do. Okay, Poppy Parade, eight and a half by five and a half. I love this color. It's really close to red, but it's not. And then I've got a piece of the um, gingham, black and white, which is, again, the Botanical Butterflies Designer Series paper, free with um, a $50 order. So Kimberly just asked, what is in the bottom of your trays? It's just an old piece of cardstock. Well, there's actually two in here, but it's it's just so that I don't always clean my stamps when I set them back in here, so I don't want it getting all over the plastic, right? So it's just a piece of cardstock in there. Somebody else is gonna ask me, where do I get these trays? These are old wood case stamp containers. So there was a lid on it and I just cut the lids off and I use these to hold my stamps for my classes and stuff. They work really good. So you can't buy these anymore, just so you know. Okay, this piece of designer series paper, <clears throat> two and a quarter by three and seven eighths. I have a half inch strip of Whisper White and then I've got two pieces of Whisper White here. They're both four by five and a quarter Right, four by five and a quarter. And then I've got a piece of basic black that is just a scrap. I wonder, oh, no it's not. And that looks like it's totally the wrong size. Hang on, you guys. This is for, oh, this needs to be this big. One of these is smaller. <laughs> One of these is supposed to be smaller. One needs to be three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. So let me cut that too. Five and an eight. There we go. Okay, the smaller one is for the front. Oh, I know why I didn't do that. We're going to run that through the country floral embossing folder. This is free with your $50 order. You guys, I have to tell you, 
this is probably the most gorgeous um, embossing folder ever. And I think we just got word that this is going to be in the next catalog. So if you are um, limited as to what you can get for free during celebration before, you know, once celebration is over, everything's gone. It's not available anymore. But this will continue to be available. So if you need to limit yourself, you can get this when the new catalog comes out in June. Just so you know. So you're going to take that smaller piece, the three and seven eighths by five and an eighth, and run it through this embossing folder, and you will get this gorgeousness. I know, isn't that just delicious? It's so, so pretty. And <clears throat> we're going to take this black and white. <clears throat> I have a frog in my throat. I don't know what's going on there. This black and white gingham paper and we're going to put it on the bottom of our embossed layer. Is this the right? Yeah, this is the right side for the inside. Okay. And then we're going to take this and add it to our black layer. Now, let me show you this card. You could easily just put these two pieces on a piece of Poppy Parade, and I hope you can see this okay. I'm not gonna glue it down there. But if you just add that one more layer of black that'll make this all pop, your card is so much nicer. Just so much nicer. That's why I always, always, always try to use lots and lots of layers. Not lots. Like, you don't want your card to weigh 20 pounds, right? But doesn't that look so much nicer with that black in there? Yeah. Okay. This is our Poppy Texture Weave Ribbon. And once again, Stampin' Up's matching colors with all these embellishments, ribbons and pearls and you know, rhinestones and this, that, and the other thing. I absolutely love that all of these things are color coordinating because when I buy a suite of products, I know that it's going to be super easy to design my cards. Um, if you're a scrapbooker, it makes it super easy to do scrapbooking because everything matches. Okay, I've taped that on the back. Now I'm going to come in with this piece and tie it just like this. This ribbon really is nice. I'm going to pull this into the middle and cut these off. And now we're going to glue this on. I always use my liquid glue. I love the liquid glue. Um, people asked me last time I was on a live, where do I get my liquid glue? From me? I buy it from my store. You can just type in when you're when you go to place an order. There's a um, search box, and you just type in liquid glue, and it'll pop right up. Okay. Now, here comes some fun. Um, the inside of my card. I'm using this, by the way, itty bitty birthdays, and this has 16 different greetings in it, and there's some really cool ones. Cheers to you! So exciting. Um, can't believe you're another year older. I love this. They say it's your birthday. Nah, nah, nah. You know that song. Uh, so there's lots of great greetings in here. I am going to use the It's Your Day with the Poppy Parade ink. And we're going to put that right on this inside layer. And this is ready to go in our card. So again, you know, while the colors and the patterns and all that are fine, this is pretty not spectacular. Very not, how do I say it? It's not very spectacular yet, right? Well, that's where some more butterfly paper comes in. So I've got those little butterflies again, and then I've got this whole page of black and white butterflies that's on the back of this green one. And I am going to take my Poppy Parade ink. Can I show you how to color that embossing folder? Um, all you do is you take your ink pad to the side that's indented. So the side with the Stampin' Up logo on it, you're going to rub your embossing folder on here, okay? Or, I mean, your ink pad. Just rub your ink pad. Let's do it. Why not? Um, let's get done with this card first, and then I'll do it. Don't let me forget, okay? <laughs> Great question. 
Um, good question, Marsha. Okay, here comes my poppy butterfly. And again, you can leave it like very light or you can keep adding color until it's the color that you want it to be. So you can make it more rich or leave it real pale. Here comes our butterfly punch. Just like that. Look at that butterfly. Beautiful, right? Now, I also want another butterfly out of these little butterflies. Now there's a whole stamp set that comes, you know, you can get it in a bundle with this punch called Butterfly or, yeah, Butterfly Gala, I think. But, again, I wanted you to know how super cool this paper is that's free, but only free until the end of March. And the punch won't be back in stock until April 1st. So, if you can get the paper, you're not gonna be unhappy with it. It's so, so pretty. Here comes our little inside butterfly, just like that. Isn't that cute? And then we're gonna take a dimensional and add, oops, I want that to show from the front. We're gonna add this to the front of our card, just like that. Then I've got this little strip here. And again, itty bitty birthdays. Here's my birthday wishes. I'm gonna go down here. I didn't even put my head over that. Look how good I did. <laughs> Winning! Yeah, we can all give ourselves a pat on the back when we're pretty proud, right? That was pretty amazing, I have to say. We're gonna flag the ends here. I always like to do a little cut in the middle and then bring those outside corners in and you usually get a pretty good little banner. And a couple dimensionals. I'd probably use the mini dimensionals on here. I should have, but these fit, but the mini dimensionals would have been easier. Here we go. I'm gonna set that right here. Last but not least, I wanted to put a little wink of Stella on here. Thank you for the share, Trudy. If you guys came on um, late, please make sure you click on that share button. I put out a challenge that if I have more than 100 shares for this video tonight, I will be giving away a three-month prepaid paper pumpkin subscription in a drawing. So... If you share, you'll be entered in the drawing to win that three-month prepaid paper pumpkin subscription. It's pretty cool. Okay, I hope you can see the pretty... Let me look at my screen and see. Can you see how pretty that is? Yeah, you can see it. I know you can. Thank you. Thanks for the hearts, you guys. How pretty is that? Okay, let me move this out of the way now. Um, it is 8.12. Let me see what else I have here. This one might be kind of... Nope, I think we can do it. Okay, I have one more card to share with you. If you guys can hang in there for one more card. Um, I will show... Oh, I almost forgot about this. Okay, so... Here's what you do. On any embossing folder, you're gonna feel which side of the folder are the images indented, okay? So um, this, I think, is gonna work better with a lighter color, too. Let me grab my crumb cake. This is gonna be a little more pale. So on the back of the one that says Stampin' Up! on it, you're just gonna come in here and do this. Oh my gosh, look how pretty that is. Somebody asked me to do this. And I'm gonna grab my big shot. Hang tight. Oh my goodness, things are falling. <laughs> here we go. Got my big shot in here. 
I'm going to take this white piece of cardstock. Now, I want this to turn out so I can do something with it. So I'm going to add just a little bit more ink here to make sure I don't just mess up my cardstock, right? And this is all you do is you just put ink on your embossing folder. You always want to run your hinge through the machine first. That is easier on the embossing folders. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if I have any men watching me tonight. That's what it looks like, okay? So I kind of missed, <laughs> I missed some of this, but you get the idea. This turned out really nice here. And you can do that with any color. Like I said, I think lighter colors would work a little bit better on Whisper White. Now, what do you do with this embossing folder? You just rinse it in the sink and this will rinse right off and you dry it. Like there's no um, residual ink left on it, just so you know. And you do not want to use waterproof ink on here like stays on. That's a no-no because it, it stays on. It will not come off. So I'm going to just set this aside and I will wash this when we're done with our next card. But yeah, that's, that's how you ink up a um, embossing folder. It's pretty simple. There's not much, not much to it. Okay, let me get all this stuff out of my way. I must try to put this stuff back in the little bins so that I don't lose things because you guys know I'm really good at that. Did I tell you that I did find my um, rectangle shaped framelit that I lost? Yeah, it was in a pack of cards that I had ready for a class or something. I don't even know what they were what I was doing but anyways I found it okay next card we are I'm gonna set this over here so it can kind of maybe keep the glare off of the stamp set oh it's still glaring isn't it let's put that under there there we go <laughs> I don't want that glaring at you guys okay here comes oh yep we need that Oh, this is my instructions. Where'd my card go? Oh, here it is. All right, guys, this stamp set, All That You Are, is really cool. And um, if you didn't read the fine print on this stamp set, you may not know something about it that I am going to share with you. Here we go. We got scraps and scraps and scraps and all kinds of stuff. But did you know that the framelits from the Frosted Bouquet dies. So this was um, a bundle in our holiday mini catalog called First Frost, okay? The dies that are in here, not those two, but this one, okay? This flower die matches this flower right here. And while I'm doing this, did you guys know, because I have some people who will say to me, Kelly, how big is that, is that flower stamp? It's this big. Like, um, when you see it in the catalog, that's how big they are. And same with our punches. They are that big in the catalog. So they're showing you true to size. But that flower matches, and I believe this flower. Yep, there we go. These two flowers from the... Frosted bouquet framelits match the all that you are flowers in this stamp set. Okay, so I just wanted you to know that. I'm going to move this out of the way so it doesn't glare at you. And then I am using the um, story label punch. Somebody told me to put that on the end of my punch, so I did <laughs> because I can never remember what it's called. This is a promotion for March. You can get the stamp set that goes with this or you can get the punch. You can get both of them, but they're um, a promotion just for just for March. And what else? I need this and this and this and some embossing powder. Now this is my technique for my online club. There we go. Okay. 
that's what this card is. So I'll show you everything that goes with that. And then you might say, hey, what's an online club? Well, <laughs> an online club is where you belong to a club online. And so what you do is um, you place a minimum $25 order before tax and shipping each month for six months. And at the end of the six months, when you have placed that order each month, you get a $30 credit from me. You also get the card and an instruction card with a sample on it from me each month that you are in the online club. So it's a pretty cool deal. I've had a lot of people who have been cashing in their um, benefits lately. Is there anybody on here tonight that has just cashed in there for their $30 in product? I know several people took the, um, hang on, I'm looking for Versamark, the stitch shape framelits, because they're $30, so that's what people have, several people have purchased those. Okay, um, where's my stamp set? Right here. Here we go. Sorry, I had this over here um, for my stamp clubs. This is also for my technique club. I actually have an in-person technique club this month. So if you guys are watching, this is what you're going to be making. We're going to take this big, beautiful flower and we're going to ink that up. And did I, I think I used this already. I didn't talk about it though. This is our embossing buddy. And I wipe this on before I use embossing powder and it helps the embossing powder only stick to the areas that I am stamping on instead of like all over the place. You know how it can be such a mess. And we're gonna do this. I'm gonna dust this with powder, tap it off. Look how pretty that is. And then I am going to, um, stamp the scrap and again I'm going to use my embossing buddy just like that the words this says flowers bloom all for you here comes that and again I'm going to pour powder on it see how nice that is okay let's see if I can get this back into the container this is just a piece of printer paper that I use to pour the powder back in. This is our white embossing powder. Okay, then you are going to heat this with your heat tool, just like that. And I've already done that for you, so you wouldn't have to sit and wait for it. Ta-da! Let me close this up. So you always wanna kind of tilt this in the light to, to make sure that it's all glossy. If you see any that's dull, that means you didn't heat set it enough. So the story label punch, we're gonna punch this out. This fits in here so nice. Here we go. And then I wanted to add a little bit more to this because I thought it was just kind of plain looking, right? Oh, I see my screen isn't scrolling again. If I missed your question, let me know, sorry. Facebook is fun when it works right. <laughs> okay. Here we go. I just thought this was a really neat little image to give my greeting label a little more pizzazz, because it was kind of so plain, right? All right, we've got that done. I'm going to add some dimensionals to the back. I'm gonna put a dimensional here and here. Then, this is what we're gonna do with this. This is called the um, stained glass technique. I'm gonna set this white card base down here so you guys can maybe see a little better what I'm doing. You wanna take, oh, you know what I forgot to do? So, um, this piece, once you stamp and emboss this, then you're gonna take the stitched rectangle shapes and I actually die cut this with 
one of the rectangle shapes. And I need to tell you which one it is. So let me grab it. I've got it over here packed up for, I've got a busy week ahead of me. I have stamp clubs this week on Monday and Tuesday. So I've got it packed up for those. Um, let me tell you which size I used here. I think it was, nope, it wasn't this one. Oh, I bet you it's not even in here. Got this one and this one and this one. So it is going to be one, two, three, four, five, number six. So from the inside out is one through eight. It's number six. That's the one that I use. Okay. And so now you're going to take that. It's embossed on the side. And we're going to turn it over. And this is a really cool technique. Let me get my readers on. I don't want any problems, right? And you're just going to... Oh, that's really hard to see. There we go. It is better without that under it. And you're just going to color it on the back. Now, I like coloring it on the back because it's easier to stay in the lines, number one. But the really cool thing is, with this is a stamp and blend alcohol marker with your stamp and um, this is your color lifter if you go outside those lines look at how that takes it right off of there if you happen to go outside the line by mistake it just completely takes the ink off the back of this vellum and this is vellum cardstock not to be confused by just plain old vellum it's a lot thicker and um, you can find it in my online store. It's called Vellum Cardstock. But it's a lot thicker and it's, it's a really nice, good quality vellum. Okay, and then we're gonna do these little things. You're gonna love this card, it's so pretty. And this is pretty darn easy to make. Because see how sloppy I am back here? And you're like, oh my gosh, Kelly, that's gonna look like a child did it. No, it really won't, it's gonna be pretty spectacular. You're gonna love it. Wait till we turn it over. Okay. And then, this was, by the way, um, Poppy Parade. No. Calypso Coral. Dark Calypso Coral. This one is dark granny apple green. And I'm just going to color in all these little stems. And then this big leaf. And all these little leaves. And again, nothing neat about this. Doesn't matter. This is the back side. And when you see the front, mm, la la la, it's beautiful. And if you go out of the lines, use that color lifter and it takes it right off. It's just like magic. There we go. What a mess. What? Look at how pretty that is. So, so pretty. Okay, so here's our card. This is um, our Whisper Wipe Thick. It is five and a half by eight and a half. And then I cut a half an inch off one side. So it's actually five and a half by eight, scored at four and a quarter. And you're just going to fold that. See how this one's a little bit smaller? Burnish that edge. Again, Whisper White Thick cardstock. Then I've got a piece of... Grab one of these that are open. This is our Happiness Blooms. Yep, I got the name right. Happiness Blooms Designer Series Paper. So it's this striped one. And on the back of it is this funky design. But this is some really cool paper. It's part of a whole suite. There's a stamp set, and there's some little embellishments, and oh my gosh, um, there I think there's an embossing folder. Yeah, so here's the Happiness Blooms design. Look at those daisies, aren't they cute? And look, this is perfect for St. Patrick's Day, right? Which is today. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to take this little piece, and i got to get these glasses off. They're making me dizzy. Add some glue right to this inside right here. 
And I'm just going to add this strip of stripes. The strip of stripes. There we go. And I kind of like to look at it here, make sure that I've got it up against the edge good. Can anybody see my paper snips? Mm, here they are. I've got quite a mess going here. Okay, so we've got that. And now, how are we gonna attach this to the front of our card? We're gonna use mini glue dots, and I'll show you some little tricks with that. First, I've got the, who sees the green baker's twine? I saw it someplace. Oh, I bet you it's still in here. Yep, here it is. This is the old olive linen thread. Actually, it's not baker's twine, but you know we have linen thread? Well, this is old olive colored linen thread. And we're gonna take a little piece of this and we're gonna tie it around our flower. Just like this. And when I'm using something this little, like it's really thin, like thread, I do, so I'm gonna need that to be a little bit bigger, I do like to tie it in a knot because that'll help keep it stable while I'm tying a bow. I just blew that, didn't I? So I'm gonna try that again. There we go. Okay. Da -da -da -da. And then I'm gonna tie a bow. Yeah, so this is what my stamp club, Technique Club, is gonna get to make for their technique this month. This is called the stained glass technique because when you flip that vellum piece over, it does really look like stained glass. There we go. Sometimes bows are challenging, aren't they? <laughs> and if you don't like making bows, just tie a knot here. It's fine. Whatever works for you. Okay, now I've got my mini glue dots and what I do. So people say, you know, there's vellum tape and there's vellum this and there's vellum that and blah, blah, blah. I always see it. I see tape through vellum and I don't care if it's vellum tape or not. It doesn't work. It's supposed to not show it, but it doesn't work. So what I did here, I put a mini glue dot right behind that little flower. So I'm hiding them behind my colored images. I'm gonna put one right behind that big flower too. Okay, that way you're not gonna be able to see them so well because I don't like seeing tape through the front of my vellum. I'm just weird about it. And then over here, you can put this one over here any place because we've got a label that's gonna cover it up. Now I'm just gonna center this. What do you guys think? Hang on, I'll show it to you as soon as I get it complete here. Let's get the backing off of this. Oh, I need to move this over. Hang on a second. Oh, that one stuck really good. Okay, there we go. I just wanna move this bow over to the side and down a little bit. There we go. Make sure it's straight. That'll work. And here comes our little label right in here like this. What do you guys think? Isn't that pretty? Now, remember I was talking about the instruction sheet? This is the stained glass technique instruction sheet. So everybody that's in my um, um, VIP club gets an instruction sheet and a card made with the technique. Cool, right? Yeah. So what do you have to do to be in my, in my online club? You need to place a $25 order every month for six months, and then you get a $30 product credit at the end. Every month you'll get a card and an instruction sheet with the technique on it from me in the mail. They come out usually after the first of the month, and, um, oh, I just had something in my head that I was going to tell you, and now I can't remember what it was. Um, if you miss a month, you have to start over. Oh, in order to join my online club, you have to pop me an email at kelly at stampabove.com. Put kelly at stampabove.com and say, I would like information on your online club. I will then send you the details 
then you have to get back to me and confirm with me whether you're going to join or not so that I can add you to the members of that group. But that's what my online club is. So if you're too far away from me to attend a class, this is like the next best thing to attending classes, of course, is being in an online club. So here's all the projects we made tonight, you guys. We've got these beautiful butterflies and another beautiful butterfly card and then our cutie patootie little baskets that are so, so simple to make. What do you guys think? Yay! Oh, Fran, do you have any other questions about the Technique Club? I think I just explained everything, but you let me know if that didn't satisfy your questions. You can always pop me an email too, okay? Yeah, Mary says, vellum tape is junk, and I completely agree with you. Just use your mini glue dots, hide it. You can't see any of those glue dots on here because they're behind that flower, behind that flower, behind this leaf, and behind this. So you can't see any of those little glue dots. And I, and I love not being able to see them because it's just kind of tacky, right? I don't know. It just doesn't look good. Um, I am checking my messages right now, you guys. If I missed anything, please don't forget to share my video. You can push that share button anytime, whether you're watching now or later um, on YouTube or later on Facebook. Push the share. When I get a hundred, when I get more than a hundred shares on this video, I will be doing a drawing and giving away a three-month prepaid paper pumpkin subscription. So that's really fun. Oh, you guys are so welcome. Um, Arla says, thanks for a nice evening again. And it is my pleasure. I'm so glad that you love tuning in to me on Sunday nights because I know people have said Sunday nights used to be a real bummer and now they love them. <laughs> so that makes me feel pretty special. I appreciate that. Oh, I'm still looking more questions. Jody likes the vellum tip. Um, Gilmore loves the card. She's going to make one of the baskets for her daughter for Easter. That's an awesome idea. Um, what else do I have here? Okay, if you guys have any questions about anything I talked about tonight, don't forget there's only two weeks left of celebration. It ends on the 31st. This black and white paper is free with your $50 order. This paper is free with your $50 order. Um, this stamp set is free with your $50 order. We got a whole bunch of stuff. This is part of our March promotion, the Story Label Punch. And also the More Than Words stamp set. So those are cool. All right, I think I have covered everything. Yeah. Um, if you would like more information on being a discount shopper um, with me, Pop me an email, kelly at a stamp above.com. Here's the host code for general orders. If your order's under $150, you can hop right onto my blog in the right hand column. You'll find an online ordering button. Click there and then use this host code when prompted. And that will get you special perks with me. It actually puts you into a drawing for a stamp set of your choice, which is really fun. It also tells about it on my blog. And um, you'll see who the winner was. Don't forget to check out my new. Geared Up Garage online class. Online class buttons are in the right-hand column of my blog. Um, it is a fabulous class. I think there's two or three fun folds in with the nine cards that are included in the online class. Online class is $20. If you buy the bundle from me, it's free. Or if you are one of my discount shopper team members, it's also free to you. So, I think we're good. Hope you guys have a wonderful week. Uh, I will be popping in on my VIP group again this week to share something with you. Did, oh, yeah, I'll share this card that um, Lori made me. How to, how to do this because I think this is pretty cool. So to become a VIP with me, all you have to do is place an order in my online store. So that means you need to go to my blog, go to my online store, place a Stampin' Up! order. There's no limit on the size of your order to get you into the VIP club. But um, I know you'll love it because we have a lot of fun on there. I, I pop on once a week with another Facebook Live that's exclusive just to my VIPs. Okay, you guys. Have yourselves a wonderful week. And I will see you back again on March 24th at 7 p.m. right here on this channel. Bye-bye.